Now to the Middle East and the latest warnings from U.S. officials that Iran could be ready to attack Israel with missile and drone strikes. Those officials saying Tehran has more than 100 cruise missiles ready and available. ABC's Britt Klenet is in Tel Aviv with more. Britt, good morning. Good morning, Whit. Yeah, President Joe Biden says he expects Iran to attack Israel as sooner than later. And Israel issuing a new high alert warning this morning, saying it's increased its readiness as fears escalate that Iran will retaliate for an airstrike that killed top commanders. This morning, Israel on high alert as more than 40 rockets from Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah light the night sky. The Iron Dome intercepting many of those missiles over northern Israel. This is new video seen by the Associated Press reportedly shows Iranian commandos raiding a ship which Israeli army radio says is likely Israeli owned near the Strait of Hormuz. It comes as Israel prepares for the potential of a larger attack directly from Iran. Retaliation for a strike on Iran's consulate in Syria earlier this month that killed senior Iranians. U.S. officials telling ABC News that Iran has readied more than 100 cruise missiles and a sizable number of drones over the past week. This is the U.S. government issues a warning to American embassy staff in Israel, telling them to stay put in cities. President Biden again warning Iran against a retaliatory attack. Mr. President, what is your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. People on the ground here cautious about the potential of an Iranian strike. If Iran attacked, it would be a World War III, I, I think, because the uh, United States prepares itself to strike against Iran. Now, responding to a question about whether he's worried about Iran killing Americans, Biden said he's always worried. And the U.S. is now moving new assets into this region, including troops, ships and aircraft, to protect American forces. Gio. A very serious situation. I know you'll be watching that closely, Britt. Thank you so much.